Hey what's up guys, today we've been playing some Watch Dogs 2 uh, The Ripcoat side mission This is a side mission you can get by listening in on people on their phones And you tap into the phone of a woman and you find out she has to pay um, A lot more than usual for her electricity bills and stuff like that And you find out her entire neighborhood has to pay a lot more than normal So um, you're gonna try to find out why and stuff like that so we'll drive there in a sec and we'll speed this up because it's quite far from my position. But yeah, we were going to hack into a few things and then we're going to find out why this all happened. So the only problem with this is the hackable um, CTOS boxes are in territories of gangs because this is a relatively poor neighborhood. So yeah. Uh, and as I have said in previous videos, it's very uh, good to buy the quadcopter as soon as possible. And as you can see, it is very useful. I mean, sure, I could walk around and just get there, uh, down there and just hack that thing. But this is a way fast method of doing it. And this yeah, it's so nice because some of these um, like for the things will be in the enemy territory. So the yeah. Low, sounds pretty suspicious. You're on to something, Marcus. Keep going. Find another box. Uh, guys? What up? This ain't no regular CTOS box. Sure it is. They all are. It's got a killer exfil filter or something. I can't get in. Hack its net. See if you can disable it from there. Should be easy to do, yeah. That's it. So as you can see, I'm just going to deploy my drone again because now I can scout around, look from above, which is a way better view, and you just can fly around and to solve the puzzle. And as I said in previous videos, there are blocks like this with timers on them. They will reset after a certain amount of time, and the entire puzzle will have to be done over if they reset. So what I recommend doing is keeping these in the locked positions, making sure they do not count and um, solve everything as fast as possible uh, and make sure everything is ready for if um, for the end you know so as you can see now i'm putting it in a position to make sure it doesn't count anymore and meanwhile i'm just going to switch all the other levers in the right positions as far as ahead as i can um, this is the best way of doing it because it's the fastest fastest way of doing it but uh, you need to get really good at these puzzles because in the end of the game, probably, like in the end of Watch Dogs 1, there will be puzzles where they don't wait for you ever, so they will reset very fast. You've got like 20 seconds to complete stuff like this. And obviously I'm a bit rusty, it's a long time ago since I've played Watch Dogs 1, so it's good to get some practice in this. Yep, that's the puzzle unlocked. You should be able to hack the email now. Let me recall my quadcopter. Or the drone, or whatever you want to call it, man. It's. I believe they call it the drone in this, this game. So, yeah, let's drive to the next location. Hey guys, what are they up to? Yeah. What do they mean by about to cave? Track it back to the hub to find out. So yeah, oh shit, the guards on the roof. <laughs> so um, probably it's best to scout out with the drone as well first. And I'm gonna use my stun gun. I prefer to take down everyone non-lethally. Um, I'm gonna try to do the entire game like this, but obviously that won't be possible. Well, it is possible, but it's very hard in the later levels. And probably against armored enemies, the stun guns and stuff like that won't have any effect. So probably I will go to heavier weapons in uh, other gameplay, but I try to keep it non-lethally as much as possible. Hey, 
And now I got an email from Central. What are the numbers about? Got me. Looks like controls for various outputs from houses in that neighborhood. He's assigning a coefficient to select outputs. Outputs for what? Track down the hub and let's see what they're doing with them. As you can see, I placed a few traps right now with the drone. If they come in proximity of the house, uh, in the into the blue orb, they will uh, trigger the trap and it will ex either explode or stun them. Stun, uh, stunning traps like electricity boxes are non-lethally. They will just um, work the same as a stun gun, uh, except they can uh, take down groups. Oh my God! <laughs> How did you not see me? Um, but yeah. And you've got like gas pipes and stuff like that which explode and they are lethally. So um, I do use them of course but prefer to use the non-lethal method. Uh, a new addition is also the guard dogs. As you can see I just drove past a dog with, a dog with my uh, RC jumper. These dogs can uh, smell you out if you're in the area and they will find you easily. So you gotta be real careful with it. And Luckily you can take him down non lethally as well with the stun gun, <laughs> which is a bit cruel, but it's a lot less cruel than just shooting him. <laughs> um, I don't know if later in the game the dogs will attack the RC jumper, but at the moment they don't, so hopefully it stays this way, but maybe in later in the game they will have like trained dogs which also go after electronics like the, the archer jumper and the drone and stuff like that. Oh, what? Oh. Nope. Okay, that one is down. As you can see, you can also take down dogs, which are, which is also non lethally by the way. I didn't just kill a dog. Which is with a, a ball, like um, uh, hanging from a rope, so you just sling it against his head. I mean, sure, <laughs> it's quite brutal, <laughs> but it should be non lethally. At least I hope so. <laughs> the poor dog. Oh my god, they got the cops. Um, so yeah, let me just solve the puzzle. Where did the puzzle go? Okay, I have no idea where the puzzle just went. Check it out. But These guys are I can hack the box now. So okay. <laughs> it's CTOS, motherfuckers. Close enough. They want to outsmart the rent controls. They're forcing people to move so they can gentrify the place. We gotta stop that shit. You gotta. I know. Find the hub. Yo, report in. There we are. Here's the puzzle. Um, what? Why is the line already blue? Where is it? Okay, it took me a while to find out, but uh, this is where the wire goes. I couldn't see it very well, but so we have to solve this puzzle here. Oh, actually, I can create it again. Um, ah, dang it, I turned the wrong thing again. Yeah, I should be able to unlock it now, it's oh, quite a small puzzle. Um, you have to, the only thing you have to uh, take into account is the range of the drone. Obviously, its range is not too far, but still, it's very decent. I hope you can upgrade it, I'm not sure you can, but well, hopefully, that's possible. And as you see, I've got the last email now. Got it. This is the hub. This is where they monitor all the outputs. Can you see how it's set up, Josh? Yeah. All those outputs get multiplied by a factor greater than one. That's the percentage the price goes up. I'll just undo that. And better yet, set the factor to less than one. My lady on the phone and her neighbors get a discount. Word. So that's pretty much this mission, the Ripcoat mission. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and comment. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time.